hello guys and welcome back so in the last video we created this method here sign in with phone so this method it's inside here in our authentication provider so this method here we send the phone number and then we verify that phone number everything else works correctly and then we get up to here when the code is sent okay so up to here we finished up to here and then from here we need to navigate to the otp screen okay so now let's create this otp screen so that in that screen we verify the code and then we as we signed in a user okay so let's go on ahead and create this otp screen let's go up in the authentication here right click new file let's say otp screen or that here let's create a stateful widget so let's say otp screen so here let's return a scaffold and then on the body here we're going to just gonna say otp screen so let's start the application in this screen so that we we can see what we are building so let's go in the main dot dot and then here inside of this login screen let's say otp screen okay so let's run the application okay now we are in our otp screen let's minimize that and uh, go up there so here in our otp screen let's start creating our screen so here instead of re returning this text let's uh, return a column so this column will have uh, children so the first child okay so copilot is giving us a suggestion saying at otp screen first let's go with it and then here yeah the size box we need the 50 and then here instead of saying otp screen here let's say verification verification so let's remove that code and then instead of this uh, style let's use our google font google font dot uh, open sign let's be consistent so we can remove this constant keyword here and then what next here so maybe the font is uh, font size let's put it something like 28 and then next after this let's put another size box let's copy and paste it there so we need to put it after the text let's copy that cut it and put it there let's hot restart so there is our verification code so instead of that maybe let's do w500 yeah maybe that one is okay and then after that let's uh, put another text so we can just copy this text And then after this a size box here let's put uh, let's say something enter the code enter the six digit code sent to you at so we need to put the number that was sent so let's say send to let's say the number so let's change this maybe to let's remove this and then we can maybe put uh, that number below this so let's copy this uh, size box just after this let's paste it then maybe let's put 10 here and then now uh, after this let's copy that again and then paste it so here uh, let's put the uh, that number so the other thing is uh, we need to align this as well so here let's put that dummy number let's, so let's say plus uh, 26 maybe this will be the dummy number that we are going to put here and then also let's align the center text aligned 
text align dot center so we can copy that then also paste there let's hot restart so we have uh, that and then let's just change a few things here because this uh, looks very big okay so here let's change it, this to 18 then let's also change this to 18 let's hot restart yeah i think that looks better and then the other thing is uh let's wrap this inside the safe area the center so let's wrap with the widget let's say safe area let's hot restart so now we have it there and then uh, next after this text here let's uh, put another size box so let's copy this one copy that and then let's paste it there and then here now let's put uh, our pin put okay so let's say uh, uh, sized box we're gonna put it inside the size box and then here let's give this size box a height so maybe let's give it something like 68 and then let's give it a child the child is going to be our pin put package okay this one so let's go with what copilot is suggesting for now like that so these fields uh, these are wrong that copilot is uh, predicting so let's first remove that and then we need to give this pin put uh, some uh, properties okay first let's hot restart and see what we have so by default we have four okay and then this 50 also looks like it's too much so let's try 30 okay like that so now let's give this uh, pin put some properties first i'm going to put a comma there and then let's uh, put some properties i mean for pin put here so first uh, this field uh, this one that copyright is predicting is wrong this is actually called length so length we are going to put uh, six if we hot restart we can see that now it has changed to six and then one other thing let's also add uh, padding to this column so let's wrap it with uh, padding let's go back control z so now let's wrap with direct with the padding not the widget let's go padding here it's here and then let's do the same like uh, or like in the login screen so symmetric and then uh, horizontal we want it to be 20 and then vertical we also want it to be 20 it's zero like that let's hot restart then we have it like that so that's fine let's go back to our pin put here so here the other thing that we want we want to give it a controller that controller we need to put a text editing controller on top and then we also want to give it a theme and then on change so let's create the things that we need first up here even the length maybe we can describe it up here up uh, here so let's go up and uh, do that so first let's come up here and then create the controller so let's say final controller this is going to be the text editing controller next we want to have a final focus node so this will be a focus node this one is going to be our focus node and then the other thing that we're going to need is a string which can be nullable this one will be our otp code okay so now here let's create a dispose method what we want to dispose is a controller and the focus mode so let's dispose the controller dispose 
-hmm. and the focus node dispose that's it and then here now let's create the properties that we need so we're going to need the default pin theme so let's create that final default pin theme this will be equals to pin theme so here let's create uh, give it some properties so you can see that copilot is already suggesting for us but if we go ahead and accept that we can see that most of just all of them are not in this package so it was just uh, like predicting so let's go ahead and close that and then we can remove everything inside here and then create our own so first we're going to need the width so the width let's give it uh, 56 and then let's give it a height of about 60 and then next uh, let's give it a text style so this text style let's get our text file from our google fonts google fonts dot open sans uh, that one so here maybe let's reduce this to 22 and then the font weight we can uh, maybe yeah let's try this one and then after the text style here what we can do is uh, give it some uh, decoration so let's say decoration so this will be box decoration and then you can see copyright is suggesting that so let's click on tab so this radius maybe let's change it to eight and the color here i think let's try this same one gray dot change 200 what else we need so let's give it a border so border like that one let's get uh, copilot is a recommendation but here maybe let's remove the width and then let's make this uh, transparent so we are going to say colors do the transparent like that so this will be the default theme that we are going to use and then let's go on ahead and uh, add this to our pin port so let's come down here on our pin port first here let's put our controller and then next after the controller let's put the focus node which will be our focus node and then now let's put the default theme which will be our default theme and then we need to add the properties like on on completed this one okay so on completed it's going to have a return a pin so this pin is uh, what we are going to set on our sms code you can see copilot knows all that so let's click on tab so it created more of this let's let's remove this last one okay so this will be our own completed and then next let's create the the verification so here we need to create the after we, we set the state like this then here we need to verify so here let's we need to create the method to verify uh, verify the OTP code okay so that's what we are we are going to do here but before that let's first create our pin port so after this on completed down here let's put the focus pin theme okay so let's put the focus pin theme this focus theme theme we are going to have our default pin theme dot uh, copy with you can see copilot already knows what we are looking for there so let's first give it a height so this height is going to be 68 and then the width which is going to be 64 and then uh, we don't need these colors so instead of this let's give it a decoration okay so the decoration box decoration and then let's go with a uh, what copilot is suggesting here and then also after this focus pin let's also have the error pin theme okay so error pin theme if we have an error okay 
we can have this because also these are just options so let's go with what copilot is going with and then let's not change anything there okay so this will be our pin put method so let's go ahead and uh, hot restart so you can see that nothing uh, has changed we haven't changed a lot because the, even the default one was just okay so if we try here we can see that now we have the focus border and then we have what we have put here as a uh, uh, this uh, font and then also the focus with our primary color okay so that's how it is so on completed as run which is this the pin has been set to the otp okay so next after this pin put we need to put some text as well so let's copy this copy that and then let's put it after this pin put no actually after this size box because the pin put is the child of the size box let's paste that so down here let's have some other text which says uh, let's have a text widget so this text we can say something like uh, didn't uh, didn't uh, receive code and then let's give it a style which comes from uh, google fonts google fonts dot open sans open sans and then let's uh, give our font here so here all we want is just a font size so font size let's give it a 16 and then here uh, what's going on so let's uh, this should be a style okay style like that okay and then after this we can have again another size box i can put the size box here maybe this one can be 10 and then after this size box we can now have a text button text button this one okay so on pressed is just to be resending the code and then the child let's have a text which says uh, resend code okay so let's correct that and then here uh, let's us let's have a const modifier here okay now we can give this a try let's hot restart so there we have it okay maybe also let's give this some style so let's say style which comes from google fonts dot open sans then here let's give it some uh, font size let's give it uh, 18 so let's remove this constant keyword here and then here what else we can give it maybe font weight so let's uh, bring this down so that we can see what we are doing so font weight and then we can have copilot suggest there maybe we can pick this one and then let's put a comma let's hot restart yeah i think that one is fine so this will be our otp screen so when we get to this screen what we will do is uh we are going to have this and then we're gonna have to enter our otp here after we enter our otp we uh, it when it verifies we need to go to the uh, we need to go to the user uh, user information screen okay so let's end this video right now so this video was just about the otp screen thank you guys and see you in the next video